Hey, how's it going? I'm Ina Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right. Okay, so I said at the end of the last one that this one would be talking about family. Um, and that I wasn't too sure if it's going to be a writing one, a normal one, or kind of a combination of the two. Um, maybe it's going to be kind of a combination of the two. Um, <laughs> maybe. Um, so the reason I kind of wanted to talk about this one is, again, to do with the whole becoming a new homeowner uh, type thing. Um, so obviously I'm having a, I've, I've not had any help in the purchasing of the flat financially. Um, so I had the deposit for that for myself. Um, I was able to get the mortgage in my own rights. I was able to pay for solicitor fees and everything else all by myself. Um, so flat, right, right out, completely, 100%. I have managed to achieve this by myself. Um, but I'm getting a little bit of help to get it redecorated and up to good standard <laughs> and replacing the boiler and stuff like that. And that is coming out of um, my inheritance from my, my wonderful mummies. Um, so that's part of the reason why I wanted to do family on this one, because, you know, yes, being able to achieve lots of things by yourself is fantastic, but having a family that you know is going to support you and, and be there for you um, is also fantastic. Uh, so I'm really fortunate that in this particular situation, I kind of have both. <laughs> I've managed to achieve something myself and I'm going to make it, you know, wonderful with the help of family. So I'm very happy or very good. Um, so I think I'm going to go slightly more rightly, at least to begin with, and maybe I will just stick with the, the rightly side of things. I think I've kind of covered the me side of things quite well with summing up, you know, why I wanted to do family this particular, this particular one. Um, because in terms of, of my writing at the moment, in terms of the projects I'm currently working on, um, family is a very key sort of theme. Um, both in terms of, at, you know, the blood relation, uh, family and the family in the sense of family unit, and in terms of the families that we create for ourselves, um, and, you know, with, with friends and with people we're close to. Um, so both of these these things kind of come, combine quite well together in the projects that I'm working on at the moment, the, the Neveritan projects. Um, and then there's something about exploring the idea of family, what it means to be family and, and the bonds that kind of keep people together in a very familiar way. Um, I, you know, there's, there's something about that that I think is worth talking about and, and celebrating. Um, and then some of the editing that I kind of did earlier, um, there was this line which uh, one of the characters uh, says to another character, which is, um, you know, good friends that you can rely on are just as good or exactly like family. Um, I can't remember the exact line, but it's something of like that sort of vein. Um, and I think that's true. I think if you've got friends that you're particularly close to, that you're particularly bonded with, that uh, you know they are family in in that sort of sense of you know how you think of them, and how how you feel about them. And I certainly have a lot of very close friends that I consider to be definitely considered to be family um, and I'm also very fortunate to come from a really great family that is really supportive um, in a lot of ways and <laughs> I am kind of mixing and matching this this vlog very much here at the moment um, and I hope you guys are kind of getting just of what I'm sort of saying here which is you know when I write family situations I don't write perfect families because I don't think perfect I don't think perfection is is a something that people can achieve so I certainly don't like perfect families um I I like the complexity of family life and the family dynamic and the fact that you know siblings will fight and bicker over very little things and friends will fight and bicker over very little things and 
you know, that's just a part of how things are. And, you know, sometimes families fracture and sometimes they don't. And, you know, the fact that you have these relationships with people that you are related to, um, that you wouldn't necessarily have chosen you know, yourself, but they can still be some of the best relationships, you know, of, of the life if you're fortunate, and some of the worst relationships of your life if you're not so fortunate. Um, but likewise, you know, with the friends that you choose to turn into to family, um, it, it's exactly the same. These can be some of the best and some of the worst relationships that you're, you're ever likely to have. Um, because you have that familiarity there, because you have that bond there, because you have this connection that is, uh, you know, it's it's deeper necessarily than, than a normal friendship, because you, you know, you're considering this person to be one of your own um, in, in that sort of terms. Um, but you've chosen to let them in, so... Yeah, it's it's the same and different at the same time, <laughs> and I, I do apologise. This is this is very sort of babbly and rambly. Um, I'm still sort of in getting used to to the new setup and, and and new place and, and trying to focus on lots of lots of wonderful things all at the same time. So <laughs> I do, do apologise that I've lost my flow a little bit. Um, but I hope you kind of get what I'm trying to get across here. Um. So back to focusing a bit more on the, the liberation stuff. Um, so I'm still writing the third book. I'm still plotting details for the fourth book. Um, the fourth book, I think, is definitely going to focus on familial bonds and, and the family unit um, in probably the, the clearest way um, or the most definite way. Um, certainly the the Jay's book um, has you know all of the bonds that, that are there in the second book definitely focuses I think more on the, the friendship side of things than, than anything else although family does play a very important role in the second story and the third one is very much about finding your place and discovering what families can be. Um, in fact more than once, um, the main character in the third book has kind of talked about how he's been welcomed in to this particular family and how he you know, found family um, and, and that there's more than one way to, to grow a family because, you know, there is. Um, yeah, so the thing with family is very important throughout all the books for, you know, sometimes positive reasons and sometimes for negative reasons. Um, it's certainly, you know, something that I think all of the the Never Breaking Boys are keenly aware of, um, in one sense or another. Um, <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm very, very, very lonely at the moment. Um, not very focused at all. <laughs> I do very, very, very much apologise. Um, I'm not doing my best as well. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I can't think of anything else to say uh, right now. I get the feeling I might have covered family before or something along the lines of family before, which might be why my brain is struggling a little bit because I'm trying to come up with like new things to say um, that I haven't necessarily said before. Um, I mean, as I said, it's it's an important thing for me right now because, yes, I have paid for all this flat entirely off my own back and by my own merits and, and everything else, but I'm getting you know help from family in order to do it up and, and get it looking nice and, and turning it into a home, um, including making this space a little less echoey. I am more than aware that this space is very echoey right now, <laughs> which I think also doesn't help when I'm trying to record a vlog because it's making me very self-conscious. Um, so I think I'm going to wrap this up here. Now I have to go. My calendar is now stacked 
all the way over there. <laughs> and I can't remember what the next topic is supposed to be. So, expect So, the next vlog is apparently entitled Being Single is Not a Bad Thing. <laughs> I don't know why I have picked that topic. Um, I'm very happy that that should be the next topic. Um, hopefully I'll be a bit more used to the space when I come to recording that one. I'm a little bit less self-conscious about the echoiness of this room. Um, it took me a while to sort of settle into the space I, that I formerly had. Um, I understand the lighting is not particularly great in here at the moment. So there isn't very much I can do about that because as part of the whole redecorating, I currently don't have curtains in here. Yay! Um, I might try re recording some in, in the bedroom. Um, see if that works a little better for sound and lighting and whatever else. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll experiment. Until things are sort of settled and sorted and nice looking, we, we will probably be moving around a little bit in order to find a decent space. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I apologise for how rambly it's been. I hope you're looking forward to the next one, which will hopefully be a little bit more focused, and I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.